You can't overstate the importance of insect-borne diseases across the world. Today, people believe a child will die every 30 seconds, like multiple 747s crashing every day. These tiny pests transmit diseases that kill millions of people each year. From the, from the Black Death in the 14th century uh, till present day time, uh, literally this is a scourge uh, uh, upon humanity. You're watching males kind of forming swarms. And females will come in, into one of those swarms. Researchers know female mosquitoes use their antennae to find humans to bite. On the antennae are chemical sensors called odoreceptors, which give mosquitoes a sense of smell. In a surprise finding, Vanderbilt University researchers now have detected the same receptors in male mosquito sperm. They will have the same machinery that the, the nose of the adult mosquito has, and they use it in very critical ways as part of their reproductive cycle. Researchers tested specific chemicals on the mosquito sperm. Some showed no reaction, not so for others. In response to a whole different set of different chemical stimuli, the sperm would go from essentially an inactive state to a very, very active state where their, where their tails were beating wildly. The Vanderbilt team also found sperm odor receptors in fruit flies and wasps, suggesting the same reproductive function across many insect species. We might be able to learn novel ways to control that reproduction, to reduce populations of medically and economically important insects, and of course have much more profound effects in terms of global health. This is another key step in finding ways to stop these tiny pests from causing massive destruction. In Nashville, Barb Kramer reporting.